Welcome to this QuickBooks tutorial on how to record business expenses paid with personal funds in QuickBooks. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University. And so what I want to go through in this video is show you um, how to record business expenses. This happens quite a bit where a business owner uh, will spend money uh, with their personal money. Like it could be a personal credit card, personal checking account, whatever the case may be and they need to record this on the business books. And there's a couple of ways I wanna show you how to do that, okay? So the first way is uh, you can record the expenses on the books through a journal entry. This is if this uh, business owner does not want to get reimbursed for this money. And there's two ways to do this. And actually one way is actually showing if they don't wanna get reimbursed necessarily right away. Uh, and the second way is to put a loan on the books and show that uh, they're going to get reimbursed, but it's not going to be immediately. Okay. So the first way is you're going to go up to customers. Let's, let's take, uh, or go up to company. Let's take an example of a business owner that spends a hundred dollars on a personal card or personal checking account and uh, now needs to record this on the book. So what we're going to do, we're going to go up to company and we're going to go down to make journal entries. Okay. So what you're going to do is if you're familiar with journal entries, then this will be very uh, simple. But if not, then this could get a little bit more complicated because you start dealing with debits and credits. OK, so let's go. Let's say that they bought office supplies. The expense is going to be a debit. OK, and in the memo, you can put, uh, you know, office supplies purchased with personal money okay all right and so the second one is this is where you're going to choose and you're going to say okay this business owner can count this as equity or as a loan from the shareholder okay so uh, what you can do is you can create an equity account you can call it shareholder contributions. You can put it directly against shareholder distributions. Uh, but essentially what you're saying is this business owner purchased something on behalf of the business and they want to count this as equity in the business. Okay. So in general, that's going to show up on the balance sheet and that will show as an increased um, investment in the business. All right, now the second way that you can do this through the journal entry is you can do a loan from shareholder or like this one here, this account is called due to owner. Okay, other current liability. So this is just a, just a, a liability on the books. It's not an accounts payable. It's not a bill you owe to the owner and you say due to owner. Okay, and so a lot of business owners will say, okay, I wanna track this to make sure that I get paid back for all this. And so you're going to put it to this due to owner account. All right. All right. So what you're going to do at this point is you're going to choose the equity or due to owner, some kind of liability. It could be called loan from shareholder, loan from owner, uh, whatever the case may be. And then you're just going to hit save and close. Okay. I'm going to skip that. All right, so now you've recorded these expenses on the books, the office supplies of a hundred bucks and that you owe the owner a hundred bucks. Okay, now a little bit better way, a lot of times you're gonna do the journal entry for a lot of bigger startup type expenses. You know, when, when a business is starting up and uh, they spend a lot of their personal money getting the business going, you're gonna record it this way in general, not always, but in general. Now the second way is the way that I prefer, all right? I like to treat business owners as any other, you know, employee that might spend money and needs to get reimbursed. All right. So have the business owner create an expense report and submit this to the company and say, okay, this is money I spent. I need to be reimbursed. All right. So I do this personally in my business. I have some, you know, business expenses that were set up as an auto draft years ago and they come out of my personal account and I submit an expense report through Expensify every single month. All right. So in this case, all you're going to do is you're going to enter a bill just like a normal bill. All right. So you would enter the business owner's name. Uh, let's say we're going to go down. You set up the business owner as a vendor. Okay. We'll say John Smith. 
a quick add, okay? Date 12-15-2023, you can put in a reference number. Let's say that this is $100 for office supplies. Okay, so we got the $100 and then we hit save and close. Now, what happens in this case is it puts in a bill for an accounts payable and then it records the expense. All right, it's, it's much simpler. To me, it's easier to track so you know what it is. You can do an attachment here and attach PDF of the expense report and the receipts and everything is nice and clean and then you pay this bill like you would pay other bills. All right, these are for normal operating everyday expenses typically. Okay, you can do this uh, as opposed to a journal entry for bigger startup expenses, but in general, these smaller expenses uh, that they incur, you're just gonna reimburse like a, uh, and pay like a normal bill, okay? So that's it. Those are the, the kind of, I guess, three ways you could call it to record these business expenses paid with personal funds and QuickBooks. Any questions, comments whatsoever, please feel free to leave them below. And uh, also head over to the QuickBooks University. Love to have you become a member over there, show you everything you need to know and answer your personal questions. The website is qbuniversity.org.